Both of my lost media videos have had good reception. One of them being about Tide on Tehtävä, which ended up leading to the VHS reef of the entire series being uploaded to YouTube, no longer making it lost. Then we had Serpedino. While the original series or any footage of it whatsoever is still yet to be uncovered, I still managed to get one response that's also confirmed the show's existence, debuking the chance of it being a false memory or dream. Now, I believe it is time to make a lost media video about three different items I am interested in finding. One of them being personal, and others are just series I am interested in uncovering. Let's start with another Suopodino situation. A thing I remember experiencing, but can't seem to find any evidence of it existing. Our local library used to have a corner where you could play computer games on PCs. This was well over 10 years ago, and through this corner I was exposed to the very first Galilei game, as well as the lesser known Hugo game where he plays ball with a bunch of friends. However, one game I ended up remembering for all the wrong reasons. It was a game involving Pelles Vanslös, or Peter Nolte in English, a famous Swedish literature character. I was already familiar with Peter due to his famous animated movie. However, something was very off. For one thing, Peter was stretched to human size, and he had very photorealistic features, and on top of that it was rendered in late 90s GTR, so it was almost like 2019 Cats Poly, but much, much worse. This game was some sort of a treasure game, but it was filmed from top-down perspective, like some of the games at the time were. I remember it being set in a dark alley and it being very confusing to play, because, yeah, I was a stupid kid. After playing it for a long bit, I guess I got bored and hooked up one of the 500 movie games they had instead. But, and I never revisited it, until I wanted to look it up one day out of curiosity and got nothing. However, I did end up remembering the name of the game, sort of. Something like Peter No Tail and the Great Treasure. I managed to find this live action special which was bearing the name that I remembered. However, no sign of a game of any kind. I suppose the game must have been based on the special. For one thing, there was a sequel or something which is apparently a Christmas calendar serial. And there were many games based on Christmas calendar serials, just as Mystery at Gravenholm series and Julen's Yeltar. So, a game based on a Christmas calendar special based on Peter Motel isn't too far fetched. Now, there was another Peter Motel game which also had a limited footage and was also in terrible GCI, but that one we can forget about for now. However, just when I was writing my script for this video, I uncovered something, actual box art for the game, but rather than being called the Great Treasure Hunt, it's just called Treasure Hunt. So we know what the game is called, we know the box art, but there are no screenshots of the game or even video footage. There is no mobile game entry either, and we don't even know who published it. We do know it was published in December 2000, two months after the movie premiered, but that's it. If there is a way for someone to track this game down and upload footage of it to YouTube, it would be interesting. Just see how disgusting these beloved characters are in Photoshop GCI. Now time to move on to something else. I already mentioned this series, but Galilei was popular children's interactive TV game series where a yellow dog named Galilei lives in an island of lost toys, as every day one of his toy friends are kidnapped by the evil wizard named... Wizard. I'll just call him Velho since it sounds much cooler. Anyways, the series outside of two episodes is lost, but most of them tend to follow the exact same structure, with the only difference being the opening scene, where Velho kidnaps a toy. However, there was one episode where they have new and unique footage for the show that never appears in any other episode, and the only evidence of it existing is... the credits for every episode. If you look closely, you can see several unique segments, such as the one where Velto speaks to the others and holds a magic wand, and another scene where elephant Evelina is kidnapped by a tree. 
This is further confirmed by the episode I managed to save, which is called Velho Kidnaps Evelina Elephant Again. So, is this from a pilot episode where Evelina gets kidnapped for the first time? Was this ever recorded? Lord knows, but it would be interesting if this early episode was. A channel called Suomi Kassu managed to upload five episodes of Galilei only to disappear. I managed to only save one of those episodes, which is the one I mentioned earlier. But this episode was not one of them. Lastly, we leave the Nordic countries and continue down to south, to mystical Netherlands. Herman Van Wien is a musician, performer, writer, artist, director, actor, an all around great guy. He's a jack of all trades, and he definitely masters all of them. Herman of Wien is best known for creating Alfred E. Quack, a children's musical which led to the creation of very much one of the best animes ever made. An anime itself was responsible for bringing in us the iconic and beloved adaptation of Moomin's Tanoshi Moomin Ika. However, before Alfred rocked the TV stations with its very powerful commentary, Herman had created another show, a live action show called A Dark Comment the Clothes. Naturally, Herman Van Veen has inexplicable fondness for clowns, so making an entire series based on them is not out of character for him. If you aren't sold on the concept of this show yet, let me read the entire synopsis for this show from the show's Wikipedia article. In the year 2089, a circus troupe travels from planet to planet with their spaceship, shaped like a top hat, to perform. The circus consists of two clown families, the Paganini and Milanini families, who travel along in no shared spaceships. Coco Milanini and Dodo Paganini are in love with each other. One day, the circus receives a source from planet Earth, where they have lost the ability to laugh. They urgently seek a pair of clowns to make them laugh again. However, before the circus start looking for Earth, another spaceship populated by carnivores from planet Jack and so-called star storm approaches. A storm caused by an exploded star blows the nose of the Bakin family off the brim of the hat, causing Dodo to lose hope. The Paganinis make an emergency landing on a planet with friendly space alien who offer Dodo their national drink, Snake Venom. Dodo pretends to drink it while throwing away the contents of his glass. A few days later another spaceship lands on the same planet where the Paganinis are still guests. They are carnivores who have raided the hat and killed and eaten virtually everyone. Dodo sneaks into the spaceship and fights still living Coco again. He manages to rescue her and back in the nose she tells him that in the meat eater spaceship there is a video describing how to find Earth. Dodo disables the carnivores with the snake venom of the friendly space aliens and manages to find the video. Dodo and Coco set out to find it. Along the way, they land on a planet called Fit, which looks like an office with all the employees living on strict diet of pills. Employees who eat more than pills are put in a sauna until they can regain their light weight. Strangely enough, the god of the planet himself is, an, is enormously fat and loves to snack. Along with one of the employees, the fat god is kidnapped, and during a marathon, the all employees must run through. The two clowns travel on and along the way, eliminate another evil being, the creature of play, who is addicted to computer games and controls a fruit monster. They also eventually encounter circus shapes again, which has been completely ruined by the carnivores. Through a black hole, they finally reach Earth and find the circus there that sent this SOS message. The circus is impressed by the two clowns, who quickly retrieve Dodo's father and Coco's mother and finally teach people to laugh again with a performance in the evening. Well, this all sounds like absolutely incredible, and I would love to see how some of these concepts and ideas would be captured in video form. The show did seem to have a budget of charging from one of the one clips of the show that is available on YouTube. In this scene, we see intro of the show as well as a short clip from one of the episodes. Wait, that skull mask looks familiar. Yes, that skull mask not only was reused in one of Herman Van Wien's concerts, 
it also seems to be the inspiration for the weird creature seen only at the intro of Alfred Eichmann. The, this limited footage as well as the synopsis make me want to find this series even further and it does have a lost media wiki page which has more information on the series. Maybe one day this series can be released in some form, possibly with the permission of Herman van Wien himself. And that is all for now. Hopefully these things can be found. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. We'll make more videos like this in the future for sure.